After slashing my way from the first mission to the end game, this game just surprises me in any other way. Devil May Cry 5 is the pinnacle of perfection and badassery. What is up guys, Reddy Guy here coming with a brand new badass video. Today I'm reviewing none other than the classic badass hack and slash demon slaying son of a bitchin' and bitches, Devil May Cry 5. Let's get right to the video. This game took me 16 hours. Yes, guys. It's not your typical open world FPS shooter that takes you 100 hours or your typical RPG that takes you 5,000 gazillion hours. No. This game is a 60 bucks, 10 to 16 hour campaign. And let's get to that right now. This game, from the moment you put it on your console or your PC, this game just go out and surprises you in any other way. Why? Because it's Devil May Cry. It's the hack and slash bitch and demons. Guys, you play as three characters. Nero, returning character for Devil May Cry 4, the, the cry baby. The legend as bad as mother F. Dante with a new arsenal. And a spooky guy called V, or what I like to call it, Vagina. Yeah, I like to call it Vagina, no problem with that. These three characters surprises you with switching on missions, and they all have typical uh, combat. Dante is your typical hack and slash powerhouse, when Nero uses something called Devil Breaker. If you don't know watching the trailers, uh, Nero lost his arm by a demon, and I'm not gonna spoil it right now. And V. V is the most mysterious of the three. Why? Because he uses three demons or three precision demons. One, a shadow, a Black Panther Wakanda way. One, Griffin, the best character in the entire fucking game. Yes, a Griffin is better than any character in the game. It's because he's one-liners and off comedy stuff. And, a uh, uh, Nightmare is like a colossal titan when you turn Ultra Instinct when V hair turns silver or white. But yeah guys, the sound of this game is perfect. Deep songs are just way brutal. And each and every way you turn and hack or slash, you go savage to badass to apocalyptic triple savage, the soundtrack just go and keep getting better and better and better. Which each gameplay you do, the game just revolves around the soundtrack. And that is why I love Devil May Cry. Story wise, the game surprises me. The game is very, very personal in Dante's and Nero's way. V is the most sideways, but he makes a key point on the story. Why? You have to play the game to know why, or you saw YouTube, you already know why. V takes part as a key, a key of the, uh, the of the story, but in many aspects, he just feels way, way on the side. Like you're you're playing dodgeball and you like to the kid up the other side on this uh and you just get it left aside and everybody's playing just like that. Nero rolls around with a haircut and no arm, but doesn't mean he's not badass. He takes quite good at the story and he's one of the main centrals. But the main central has to be Dante. Dante, this is a personal quest and you will know why if you buy or watch the game. So, you will be telling me, Raiden, why? Why you recommend this game? It's just only 16 hours. I'm, gonna t I'm, not, I'm not that type of guy who wastes six, uh, 60 bucks on a 16 hour campaign. Then let me tell you, you're an idiot. You're a goddamn idiot. Yes. It took 60 hours to, get, to, to pass the game. But the game offers you a type of replayability. Why? You got many aspects. When you hit the end game, you unlock many, many, many things. Even even on on the way of passing the game, you get new difficulties. You can platinum or get the high achievement on the Xbox One. And let me tell you guys, these games deserve to be replayed. Right now, I'm on my second playthrough, but I'm gonna put it aside because I'm playing. I got I got other aspects to be. I need to upload these games, but. What I want to say, guys, is Dead of May Cry for almost 11 years on hiatus and a fucking mediocre remake. This game 
the leverage in every other way. And that's why Devil May Cry deserves a 9.5 out of 10. Yes, 9.5 out of 10. The hack and slash is back, baby, and ready to go. So what is up guys? I hope you guys you love this review. Please share it with your friends. This is my bad ass review. And I so and I hope to see you on my another video.